live at five. It is Tuesday, the 29th of March. Is it? Yes, is it? it oh, is. Look, people are coming in. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Have... Emily Patchett's here today. I know, special guest. Uh, Broadway's new hit, Bright Star. Um, hi, hi, Bamboo72498. How'd Hello. you get that name? Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Oh, Good Future Alphaba said hi. I'm Future Alphaba. Hi, Future. Paul, Paul is very handsome about Oh, I have a little makeup on. That's, <laughs> that's secretly why. So because we were on camera we earlier today. and we had to, yeah, yeah. so that, that's, the, that's the trick. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. Imogen, what? Well, so last night some big last news night came some out. Last night some big news came out. And here's the thing with breaking news that happens overnight. I do the early, early morning shift. So Imogen's a morning a. person. I'm a night person. So I was fast asleep, but you weren't, were you, Paul? I have my Diet Coke. And as we predicted, we told you this was going to happen. We were the only people that predicted it was going to happen. Nathan Lane is coming back to Broadway. Yeah, in a play this time. He's not singing. He's in. Uh, this is the the front page. Exactly, and it's like a classic page. screwball play about newspaper people and exactly. deadlines and stuff we know so, about. Well, quite. Um, so it's John Slattery who was in Mad Men and also in Spotlight, being the future. Alpha wants us to know I'm going to be in Wicked. I, I got that. We got that. We, we understood yes. that Clues, the first time. Was in the name. So um, yeah. So wait, John Slattery. Yeah. Then I started doing the math because I met John Slattery. I mean, I met him years ago, yeah. but he was at the. It's only a play opening. Yeah. Yes. With Nathan Lane, same director, right? Yes. Jack O'Brien, yes. right? And he said, I said, are you going to do a play? And I realized, he said, I'm dying to do a play. And I didn't realize he was but probably already attached. But his first ever professional job was with Nathan Lane back in the day. Oh, yeah, the Lisbon Traviata. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, so, and wait, who else is in it? John Goodman, who yes. you all know from Roseanne. Has anyone, John I haven't seen that movie, that Cloverfield Lane. I want to see no, that. He's supposed to be it. like Oscar worthy in that. Um, but he was just in the West End with Damian Lewis. So great Somebody to wants to point Broadway. out Nathan Lane is killing it this year. He's incredible on The People vs. OJ. He is. We love Nathan Lane. Uh, Jefferson Mays, who you all know from A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Uh, Sherry Jeff Renee Scott. Uh, Rosemary ha and Rosemary Harris. Yeah. Rosemary Harris is I mean, like that's a legend. some cast. Rosemary I've Harris already. Has, like, I had a friend and I said, I've got a friend, anyway, so I said to her, which show do you want to see on Broadway in April? She just seen mummy go, oh, I don't want to see anything left on in April, uh, but I do want to go and see this uh, uh, Nathan Lane play. The front page. Already The buzz is already building among your, your friend request, base. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's already happening. It's already happening. And um, wait, by the way, there's a lot more roles still to be cast yeah. in this one. So, oh, somebody just said something in another language. Wow. <laughs> I can't even Russian. read that. Uh, there's also Dream Girls news. Dream speaking, Girls, speaking of London, we're going to London for Christmas, aren't we, Paul and Torek? We're so going to London because uh, uh, Amber Riley, right? Uh, Amber Riley, uh, she will begin previews on November the nineteenth and officially open on December fourteenth at the Savoy. The Theater. Savoy's like isn't that in the Savoy Hotel? That's a fancy yeah, theater. You can go for drinks in the American bar beforehand. Didn't planning, I see planning December out? Didn't I see here. Gypsy there recently? Yes, you did. And I saw Legally Blonde there. Yes. See, I know my I know my London, know London real estate theaters. sometimes. Yes. And um, you know it was across the street from that. Love never dies. It at the was Adelphi. At the I know a little bit. Uh, anyway, uh, that and Casey Nicola is directing that. Yeah. Casey Nicola, yeah, going so, over London. Can't wait so to see that So that's super exciting. Also in London, and I'm sick of people asking me this because I'm not going. Glenn Close is doing Sunset Boulevard. So sorry, edgy. I am a little, a little bit, little, little bit touchy about, about this. Um, anyway, she uh, begins performances on April the first, so on Friday that's this in week. Sunset Boulevard. And she's there for a limited engagement at the London Coliseum through uh, uh, May. Sometime. 7th. Do you think she remembered all her? Do you think she remembered it all? Do you have any inside information? Did she have to relearn everything? Or no comment. However, there is a fun video about her uh, leading odds and ends today. So check that one out. She, she did like the talk show circuit, right? Yeah, she's. What else is happening? Um, Samuel Barnett, who uh, Tony nominated for Twelfth Night and also History Boys, mm -hmm. he's doing Dirk Gently opposite Elijah Wood for BBC America. That's also an odds and ends. Um, tributes have poured in for Patty Duke, who's right. very sadly died. Um, she won the Oscar for The Miracle Worker, which mm -hmm. she originated on Broadway, that role. Yep. And James Noble, who was in 1776. But they're obviously better known. And 1776 is starting at Encores it tomorrow. Is. Tonight's the night of dress, I think. Uh, and Adina Menzel is doing things at the Tribeca Film Festival, which you can go and see. So have a look at odds and ends for details about that. She's not doing it at a concert. It's like a talk. No, it's like a talk. She's thing. talking. She's talking. not singing. No. Um, right. The Great Comet. What's the Great Comet, Imogen? The Great Comet. <laughs> it's a nickname. Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. Right. And they announced cast. They announced cast today. 18 Broadway debuts in that cast. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. And is it a lot of people that did it uh, off-Broadway? A lot of people that did it off-Broadway. Um, and it's opening on November the 14th at the Imperial Theatre, which is where Les Miserables is currently playing through September. I'm dying to see how they use that space, because what I loved about the show originally, it was like in a tent. 
and I they it. stood on my table, and I was they, I they, they were like on top of me. But that's not going to happen at the Imperial. No, but I think they are going to try and make it more immersive. They're probably going up and down the aisle. I don't know. Okay. And we'll see. Somebody um, asked, is Hamilton coming to the West End, Imogen? Yes, it is. It's going to the Victoria Palace Theatre, as we reported on the site, hopefully next year. But the pa Victoria Palace Theatre is going to be renovated when Billy Elliot closes. Adam Disney wants to ask you about Laura Benanti on Colbert last night. I know that was one of your topics. It was. Um, have a look at our watch it on that. She was um, pretending to be Mrs. Trump. Yeah. Uh, it's Melania. Very funny. Melania. The it's silent very, Melania. Very funny. It's all cheekbones and drama. Yeah. Um, uh, also, a few more watch it. Uh, Santino was on Crazy Ex Girlfriend last night. Um, oh, Beth. And Beth has an interview. Yeah. Beth interviewed Santino. So that's going up on the site sometime in the next 20. Two hours. Anyway, Santino did a number on Crazy Ex Girlfriend, so have a look at that on our site. Somebody said it was great. He sang. There you go. Uh, Claire Danes was on the Tonight Show last night talking about Dry Powder, which she's uh, in off Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, she needs to come back to Broadway. Is sure. She Broadway? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I love her. I love her. In Why Hollywood. not? She should be in the, the the front page or the Great Comment. One of those. I think Great Comment's done now. Okay. Yeah. That um, all right. Two big, uh, big, big ups. debuts tonight. Yeah. Right? Um, Alfie Bow first performance in Finding Neverland. And Alan Mingo Jr. is the new Lola in, in Kinky, Kinky Boots. Boots. He did it in Toronto, right? That's so a break. Yeah, a leg I heard he was. I heard he was wonderful. So break a leg to both of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and some off Broadway news about a signature theatre, um, which means that Frank Wood, who is in the rather short-lived Huey. Yes. Um, is Tony leading winner, that, Frank Wood. Exactly, is leading that project. So have a look at the site. Awesome. That's it. Thank you so much, Imogen. Bye-bye, Paul. All right, everybody, I want you to uh, welcome somebody I love, Miss Emily Patrick. Come on over. Oh, my God. Look at my Okay, wait, first of all, don't sit. Look, just stand back here because oh, you oh, look oh. beautiful. Oh. Look, at, look at this outfit, oh, everybody. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous. These are actually D. Hody's pants that she gave me. Who's? D. Hody. She wore these in other desert cities. Oh my God, D. Hody pants. <laughs> I love it. So Who has D. Hody pants? That's I amazing. D. Hody is one of your phenomenal co stars yes. in Bright Star. Yeah. Now, you guys opened last Thursday. We did. Somebody said, Slay Queen. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Jennifer Lynn said, Emily always looks gorgeous. Aww. I'm sorry, I shouldn't act surprised. This You're so right, cute. because she does always look good. She was so good in Sideshow Three Hearts. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that Bright Star show, Bright that Star. opened. You guys yeah. opened on Thursday. You, did. you you did the show in Washington. Yeah. I first saw you do it there. Yeah. Um, and it opened now. Sure How was opening night? It was swell. You looked gorgeous. Oh gosh, we had such a good time. Um, she was... always looks gorgeous, Paul. Thank you. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, it was awesome. We had... Uh, Steve Martin played the banjo in our curtain call, and Edie Brickell sang, and then he played at the opening night party, uh -huh. and it was a picnic, and there was fried chicken. Picnic? Picnic. What? I missed fried chicken? Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Wah, wah. It was a good time. Look, they really like you. So, okay, here's a good question. Adam Disney wants to know, what's the basic premise of the show? Okay, uh, Bright Star in a nutshell. I will try. I'll try to do this. It's a. It's kind of a... Two time of, periods. Two time periods. We go back in time. We're in the 40s, then we're in the 20s. Mm -hmm. It's the story of Alice Murphy. You're in the 40s. I Yeah, and I solely live Just in the 40s. make sure. You don't go back. I don't. No. I don't like the 20s. <laughs> better yeah. fashion and the better pants Way in better. the 40s. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a story about this woman, and it's kind of... She has this mystery about her. Carmen this, Cusack. Carmen Cusack, who's amazing. And um, something happened to her, and she kind of... you It develops through the show and it's a story of forgiveness and redemption and um, Carmen Cusack sings her face off and, it and it's amazing cry. and it's bluegrass and it's lovely and it's it's a delight I can't wait to get that yeah. album you guys recorded oh. the album a few weeks ago right yeah. and Peter Asher is our music supervisor if uh -huh. you don't know Peter Asher produced you know uh, James Taylor and Linda Ronstadt like what I didn't know that fancy pants so what? being in the studio with Look him you hanging out I with know. the fancy music people. and they were so cool they were drinking like bottles of wine in the studio it was very very Hollywood and very cool wow yeah. are you saying you're drunk on your big number I mean well What's I'm supposed that? to be because I sing a song about pour me another round so yeah it's all yeah you're like yeah. the uh, you're the party girl. I'm the good time girl. Right? You're yeah. the good time girl. You yeah. work in the, uh, like, magazine. Uh, it's a magazine, right? Yeah. Herman Cusack's the editor. The and you and Jeff Blumenkrantz yeah. work in the office. Yes. He's my, he's my twin, if, if for all intents and purposes. Just are we back attached. to the twins? We are, we, are, are we still doing that? We are. I can't we're picture twins. you and Jeff Blumenkrantz, like, doing sideshow together. We, we But do I bet you do backstage. backstage we do. do you? We do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we're uh, we're sort of the. Ash Lizzie said, "I'm a twin." That's well, so there great. You go. This well, there girl's you go. this girl's good at playing twins over here. 
Um, so you're, you're having a good uh, Broadway life, aren't you? It's so great. You know, I, you know, Sideshow is so amazing, and uh, Bright Star, I don't have to do any dramatic heavy lifting at all. <laughs> so I get to watch it's a little lighter. It's lighter, it's more fun, I get to dance. Yeah. Um, and play with Jeff Lumicrans. Yeah. It's so great. Um, somebody said they're playing Daisy in Sideshow this fall. <gasps> Congratulations! Wow. Oh, that's so exciting. Uh, any tips for playing a conjoined uh, twin? Make sure that, uh, you know, compromise. Compromise. Compromise in terms of like, compromise. don't be bossy and like sometimes. Yeah. 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 Like don't be bossy some, and, and breakfast. Everybody has their own process and you have to be attached to somebody with their own process. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I dragged Erin around and she, she's just like the sweetest. And I'd be like, let's go. It's places. She's like, oh, I was talking to that person. And then anyway. And breath mints. Breath it's nice. Mints. It's nice. You know what? That, that that should actually just be on the same old French script. It should say, if you're doing sideshow, breath, breath mints. mints. Yeah, agreed. That's a good tip for life, actually. It's, it's true. It's true. Um, so, Steve Martin, Edie yeah. Brooke Howe. Yeah, fancy. Those are like, I know. And like, they yeah, wrote like, such a good show. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you get involved and you don't know if some, like, someone comes to Broadway and they're going to write, so you don't know yeah. if it's going to be any good. It's, it could just be produced because they wrote it. It's true. But it actually, it's fancy and it's good. And they're, <laughs> they're, and they're the nicest, you know. Um, Steve Martin was in rehearsal with us every day, right? Typing on his computer and rewriting jokes and, and invested. And yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was the nicest process. You were also yeah. in Rock of Ages. I was. You, um, I'm going to Starbucks. What do you want? Bamboo asked. Oh. Um, oh, you know what my thing right now is? The green tea, like a iced green tea latte. Oh, like with the skim. matcha? A skim, yes. Like the matcha? Yes. I like that's that what too. I want. I like the green tea you know where lemonade. We are? She, oh, she's that's bring, my other. I do that too. I like the green tea. Anything yeah. green. Yeah. Green. Um, yeah, you were in Rock of Ages. Yeah. You were Sherry. You were stripper slutty Sherry. I was. I was stripper slutty Sherry. Yeah. Um, for kind of a long time, like off and on. You're always the good time girl. You were the I good. Am. You were the good time conjoined twin too. I know. Like, right? I'm, like, I'm the of, fun one. Yeah, I'm kind of playing Daisy again, but Southern, and she's a little. I've got some like designing women going on in my. I love that you're actually tying it together with sideshow. I am. But, I like but, like Bill Russell came to see the show, and I'm like, I'm kind of Daisy, but not attached and Southern. <laughs> But like same kind of person, yeah, fun. Does that music, does that uh, sideshow music still haunt you at all? Like a, that, that score just like always stays with me and I've never performed it. But. In a great way, yeah. yeah. It's amazing and to be able to, you know, say that I did that show was amazing. That was such a big moment in my life and such a surprise when I actually got the job mm. that I was, I couldn't believe it, so yeah. So yeah. What's, the, what's the tip to like pulling together a little Broadway career? Because you're really like, you're kind of on a roll. Um, I think just just riding the wave, like there are like ups and downs, and you just kind of roll with it, and um, and 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 staying excitable. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's not don't getting, get jaded. Yeah, don't get jaded. It's very easy to because New York is hard, and um, and just you know, find other things outside of of performing that you love to do. You know, what do you love to do? I'm into this pure bar thing. Have you heard of pure bar? It's like a workout. It's cardio bar. I'm obsessed with it. Tell it's me what really it is. hard. I might need it. It's like really tiny movements of like you like uh, that's, I like you hold that. weights. Like you go down an inch, up an inch. I make Jeff do it backstage, like when we're off stage. Oh like, wow! Like little like I don't know if you can see me like yeah. like down an inch, up an inch. That like, that's yeah. all you do. Yeah, it's but it's like you your legs shake and it's it's kind of torturous when you're in there. How do you I'm learn how to do that? I just took a class and when I was in Pasadena. Oh. And I'm like obsessed with it. And our dresser is a pure bar teacher too. Somebody so just like, said pure bar is the best. Yes, bar. I didn't know you meant bar, like ballet bar. Bar, yeah. I get it, I get it. Yeah. Eloise Crop does it. Oh. Apparently. It's, it's, it's my favorite. It's a thing. If, if you, you were an actress, actress what would you be? be? A pure bar instructor. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, I, I had a teacher in theater school say like, okay, write down, if you weren't an actress, what would you be? And I had nothing to say. And she's like, you're going to make it because you don't have a backup plan and you're just going <laughs> to suffer. So like... <laughs> I guess maybe Pure Bar. Did you go to AMDA? I did. Ah, uh, so Ash Lizzie wanted to. Did you, you like AMDA. AMDA? You know what? I did. I came from, I'm actually from North Carolina. So, mm -hmm. as Bright oh. Star set in North Carolina. But, That's um, where the show's set. Sure is. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to get out of North Carolina. So, I wanted to come to New York. And I didn't really want to go to college. And so, AMDA was like two years. Right. And I was like, I can do that. And right. then I had to make a deal with my dad that I had to start booking work or I had to like finish school. Right. And, but it was great for me. I loved it. What was the um, first thing you booked that made Dad go, wait a minute, maybe she's gone to something here? Ready? Yeah. The Nanak National Tour of Cats. 
Who were you? Demeter. <gasps> I say McCavity. I'm obsessed amazing. with all the cats. Love it. I know. What was Demeter's look? What was the, like the? She had like she was orange. She kind of looked like candy corn, mm. but like spiky hair. You were the candy and corn she... cat. Yeah. Oh, the spiky like punk rock. She was like punk rock. She was like skittish because McCavity was like you know. So are you going in to reprise that role in the new Broadway? No. Cats. Yeah. No. No more Demeter. No. no they uh, they were like, do you want to go in for this? And I was like, well. Maybe Chris Abella, but I was like, no, I can't. No, absolutely not. No, <laughs> no. It is kind of. But funny. I'll go see it because I'm. A it huge is kind fan. of funny that you're. I'm a big fan too. It's funny that you're back uh, in North Carolina now on Broadway. Yeah, that's I know. kind of weird. You were like, I want to get out, and now uh, they pulled you back in. I know. I took a very. I was very sassy about the accents. Oh, like, were you like the, the resident expert? I mean, I was, but I shouldn't have been. And I would, I would sit in the back, and they would talk about accents, and I would just pull up like voicemails from my like father, and I'm like, "Well, this is what it's supposed to sound like." And this is, I was very you sound annoying. About it. I was. I well, I took such ownership. But I was like, I mean, but also like, okay, but stop. But I think that I do the most. Stuff. So, what's your dream? Like, what, what's your Broadway dream? Um, my Broadway Somebody said you were a sassy waitress number one in Rock of Ages. Thank you. Hold on, little girl. Show me what he's done to you. Okay, uh, what's my, what's you my Broadway dream? You can sing side show too if you want. I know. Um, um, um what's your, yeah, like, what do you, oh, well, the table went down. It's all right. My Broadway dream, to keep working. Yeah, to I mean, like, what, what's your, do you have a dream role or, um, I know people hate that question. No, I, uh, I don't really, I like, I want to keep creating stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, you know what, that's not true. I would love to do another another like a sweet charity like a dance mm. I did flash dance and it was so hard and amazing and so I, I before I get too old I would like to have a shot at another little dance you were incredible in flash dance and oh my god that was like a crazy hard role so hard. when you had to do that big that big audition dance that big the hardest tra it was high drama first of all oh high drama and the hair oh yeah and the costume and the and it's Rochelle Rack on the in the wings I mean I mean, there's a there was a lot going on it at Flash Dance. There was a lot going on. That, that was, was a hard. fun show. It was fun, and um, I think because it was so hard, and people would come, they're like, "Oh gosh, it's such a fun show," and I was like, "What do you mean it's fun? I was killing <laughs> myself. I was bleeding for you." <laughs> but it was a you lot. were so wrapped up in the drama. I was of it, so too. wrapped up in What's the drama. What's her name? Alex Owen. Oh, of course, I'm sorry. Welder. I should have known uh, that. The welder. And the water. What do you, you know the water, the chair. The oh water. no, of course. I said a daughter. I was oh, like, no, I don't remember the daughter. daughter. No, was there a daughter? A daughter. <laughs> it was so, and and we toured it. So you know, in every city, sometimes it was like twenty degrees. Oh, it was freezing. crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Somebody said, "Would you do Dirty Dancing?" That's so random. Would I do Dirty Dancing? Ooh, maybe. No, yeah, why not? I might be a little old for a baby. I might be too. You might be more penny. Yeah, maybe. I don't. I don't have that extension though. <laughs> no. I give us. I if I really. I've kicked my face actually three times in my life. I try to every night in Bright Star, but I, I haven't. She's like. Face. Actually touch your face with your leg? Yeah, when I was in flash dance, I hit my face so hard and I was so embarrassed, but then at the same moment, I was like, oh my God, I kicked my face. Like the first time. Like, I'm so excited. Did. I'm so excited. You but, like, like knock out yourself a out, bit, but you're and, super like, excited yeah, about it. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Can anyone out there uh, kick your face? Anybody? I can't. I mean, keep keep it that pure bar. Keeping it that you should come. You should well, come. Come where? Where they do I have, have to go? Bring on the, they have a bring on the men series where men can take it for free. What? Where's? What? We'll take it. We're we'll doing go. this. We'll go. We're doing We're this. Go to pure bar. Yeah. Uh, Bamboo yeah. said they used to be able to. Well, you know, oh, it's always something it's to work towards. Anymore. It's always something to Maybe work towards. Maybe we can towards. work something. Bell Spell said when I'm drunk. I can kick my face. Jules said I can kick my face. All right. Well, I guess some people a lot out of there. people can kick their face. So everyone, if you are in New York or if you're coming to New York, you have to check out Bright Star. Yes, I, please do. I always, I always say this to. I'm, I'm a big supporter of this show. I'm a big cheerleader. I'm a Bright Star cheerleader, okay. and I, and I think people just need to go see it. Don't ask any questions. Just go. Yeah, just go. Like don't read. Don't read. I, I you know what? Don't read too much about it. I think I think it's really fun to just walk in. Not knowing anything, and, and just that's like, yeah. I've had a lot of my friends have come, and they're like, "I didn't know what this was about at all." And they laughed, they cried. It was beautiful. Carmen's amazing. There's some dancing. There's some romance. Yeah. There's some bluegrass. Yeah. Steve Martin wrote it. He's yeah. good. Hello. It's so good. The music's so good. And when the album, the album's gonna come out like soon, think, like like like, an, an, like end of the month, yeah, maybe, end of April. Soon. Ish. I can't wait. Ish. So buy the album too. It's yeah. Be good. Yeah. Yeah. April twenty eighth. Oh, April 28th. 29th. Carmen is amazing. She's Carmen amazing. Carmen Cusack, finally on Broadway. And so cool. Yeah, she's, she's like, like the coolest she's like, leading she's like lady. She's super cool. She's cooler than anybody. She wears, a, she wears like a hip 
fanny pack that's like leather and studded. She pulls off a fanny pack? Sure does. And she wears it all the time and it's amazing. And she also, her accent in real life is a little Southern and a little British yeah. at the same time. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. she's just cooler than everybody. Yeah, Carmen Cusack. I think she knows she's cooler than everybody. She's if she's rocking best. a fanny pack in 2016, God bless her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you look beautiful. Thank, thank you for you. thank you for dressing nice, and you look you look well, you really know, pretty. Had to wear some D Hody pants for like <laughs> D Hody pants. Is D Hody giving you all kinds of like hands me the hand me downs? She gives me. These are the only hand me downs, but she uh, she brings me all of her old old catalogs, and she doggy ears the things that she thinks I might like. I love it. <laughs> it's the best. I love D Hody. Yeah. D Hody's awesome, and she hosts Shot Night every she, Saturday night. Oh, she hosts really? it. Oh yeah, it's a big deal. Is this pure bar happen over there? Or is that separate? That's separate. Pure bar separate. You don't do yeah. that during. We don't shot do. We, night. It's too dangerous. Pure bar. Okay, so how do you get into shot night? Is there like a? Is there a Saturday guest list? night? Yeah, yeah. There's a guest Everybody list. We're trying to compete with up. the Alan Cumming of the cabaret. Oh, you're gonna do that? Yeah. yeah. So D Hody. Club Cumming. Yeah. Like D Hody. Club Hody. I'm all about Club Hody. <laughs> it's the place to be. Thank you so much for coming. Thank it's you a pleasure for to see you as always. <laughs> Everyone, please go see Bright Stars at the Court Theater on 48th Street. Don't read about it. Just go. Just go. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Bye. Thank See you, you tomorrow.